Yo, J Rise. Ah, yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. And that's uh, cool. Yeah. Now I was just listening to what you're saying, man. It's true, man. Like, yeah, man. I just wanted to say, man. I've been watching your videos, yeah. And like yeah. they're proper inspiring, man. I can't know, man. Like you're the realest person that like, on TikTok that I, that I rock with. I can't know, man. I'm telling you, man. My my yeah. opinion is very unpopular, and that is because people don't want to hear the truth. Yeah. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear. Like I'm saying to a man, yeah, you are too good to be a warehouse supervisor, and that. Some yeah. people that will piss them off, but you yeah. know what? You need that anger, and mm. you need someone to piss you off to think. You know what? Yeah, maybe I need to. Um, you know, do something better with myself. Yeah, facts, facts, for sure. Yeah. yeah, but I wanted to ask you a few questions, innit? So, um, basically, like, um, obviously, I'm 22 now, innit? So, I've got like, um, I say I've got like a couple five figures saved up, but I, w- I want to try and get into property, but I don't know, like, I don't know too much about it. So, I was gonna say, what was the best way do you think I should like go about it? Obviously, because I want to try and like obviously get into the property market, but I don't know how to. First of all, yeah, one good guy to watch is a guy called Ahmed Khan. And um, I'll, I'll spe- yeah, I'll spell it in the chat. Just type in his cool. name, Ahmed Khan. Um, obviously, Ahmed he's Khan. Asian. When you type in Ahmed Khan on YouTube, there's yeah. going to be another YouTube account, but he's got, like, he, he's Asian looking. He's got, like, quite, like, big hair or whatever in it. Yeah, yeah, he's just yeah. talking about property. Go on his channel. Um... He, he talks about property and that he breaks down this thing like from beginning to to end and that. Cool. What sort of area are you living in at the moment? So like um well I'm from North London originally. Yeah. But um enough. obviously I'm I'm in uni at the moment, so I'm staying at West. So yeah. But um in terms of property, like what area would you say is good like to um would you say it's out of London it's better because it's cheaper? Or... Yeah, I mean, yeah, because the time it's going to take you to save up to buy a property in London, you could have bought a property or two in that time, yeah, how expensive it is in London. Like, you yeah. know what the price is like in Tottenham and Stoke Newton or mm. Finchley? Well, I mean, that Finchley, them prices, they are crazy and that. But even Enfield and that, you know it's just crazy and that. So it's best yeah. to just go outside of London and buy one property. Cool, cool. Would you say yeah. I should buy, like, one property and then, like, rent it out? And then just do that again and just flip it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I was you, yeah, you might need to buy a property and, and live there kind of like part-time and have a little lodger and that, if you get what I'm trying to say. Um, you might have to take that dive and move out of London and that. Because a lot of say people... Say that. Just I can help you. Yeah. What did you say? I should what? Buy... So maybe buy a property and move over there, like wherever. Let's say you move. Let's say you buy a property outside of London, like Northampton. Yeah? Okay. You might have to move into that property and just have a little lodger for a few years, man. Okay. That's yeah. You get, at the end of the day, we gotta make these sacrifices to get what we want. See, yeah. if if you if you lot are watching this right now, yeah, you lot can stay and live comfortably in in London or whatever area you're from, so you can be around your family and that. But bro, these are the same family members that are gonna talk rubbish about you behind your back when you start making some money and start stepping outside your, your comfort zone. Mm. So I wouldn't even be worried about like just your maybe your immediate family, mum and dad and that, but the rest of them, cousins and that, man, you can forget them, blood. Mm. But forget them. They will they they will talk about you behind your back and that just because you're 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 doing well for yourself. So don't worry about trying to stay close and loyal to them. I heard that, I heard that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for that, man. I appreciate that. But yeah, I yeah. love for the content and everything. I really appreciate it. Keep it up as well, man. It's really inspiring and change your lives out there. I can't lie, man. Yeah, man. Listen, any of you lot watching this right now, if I say things that offend you and that, yeah, just just take it on the chin. Don't worry about it. At the end of the day, yeah, we might have to hear things that are going to be offensive. Yeah, yeah. It's better to hear things from me than not hear at all when it's not. Yeah, facts, man. Yeah. All right, then, cool, man. Thanks for that. Take care, bro. All right, later, later.